Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our day number 27. Day 27. Let's see, what do we have for today? Five people are to be seated next to each other. So we have five people and they are to be seated next to each other. In a row. On a bench. This is getting saucier and saucier, isn't it? One person. Refuses. To sit at either end. Let me change the marker. This is getting too light. I don't know why. All of a sudden, one person refuses to sit at either end of the bench. Is what I should say. Give me a second. One person refuses to sit at either end of the bench. The question simply is, how many how many different ways are possible for these people to be seated. Voila. How many different ways are possible? for these people to be seated. One more time I'm going to read it to you just in case if you have trouble with my handwriting. Five people Five people are to be seated next to each other in a row on a bench. One person refuses to sit at either end of the bench. He or she does not want to sit at this end of the bench nor he or she wants to sit on the other end of the bench. He simply refuses to sit, I will not sit at the end of the bench. Of course, simply is how many different ways are possible for these people to be seated. That's all. Pause the video. This is a good time to pause the video. Work on it. If you need help from somebody, or you ask somebody's help if you if you must, think about it, solve it. Don't try to do it in a don't try to don't be in a rush to resume the video just because you try a few minutes and you have trouble. Take as long as you want. Once you have the answer, you can resume the video and watch and compare your work with the work that you and I are going to do together. Well, I'll give you a chance to pause and resume. Voila! What do we have? Well, we have five people. They're going to sit in five spots. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, listen, listen very carefully so that you can understand logic. There is not much of a solution to so write on the blackboard. There is nothing here. I just have to talk. Let's first talk about this one person. 
there is a nice word that comes to my mind right now but I will not say it because I have to learn it myself properly particularly the pronunciation, pronunciation. and I know what you're telling me that we are here to do the math problem but as I've always told you it does not hurt to improve one's vocabulary at any time of the day while they're while one is doing anything at all. It's always improve always good to improve one's vocabulary. It's not gonna come up because my spelling is so far off. It's turning pages like crazy. The word I'm looking for means means stubborn, unwilling to cooperate. Uh, oh it did come up. What do you know? I thought my spelling was... It's not coming up. What should I do? I'm going to make a note to myself somewhere else. I'm not going to put it on the blackboard. Because like I said, my spelling is too far off. Nor do I know the... Nor do I know the pronunciation of it. So, I'm going to make a note to myself. We're going to cover it one of these days in our vocabulary videos. And for those of you who do not know what I'm talking about, I also do videos on vocabulary. Just type in Kashmani prep dash vocab dash and then the day number, day so and so. And you'll find all the vocabulary words that you want to learn if you're preparing for the SAT, GRE, GMAT or TOEFL for that matter. So we have one stubborn person who is unwilling to cooperate. She tells you, I will not sit at the end. Let's take care of her first. Well, let's, let's start with her first. So how many different ways can we fill up this spot, the corner spot? We have five people. We have five people. Let's call them A, B, C, D, and E. We have five people. Tell you what, I need the room. I'm going to erase this thing. I'm going to erase the problem. You already have the problem. I'm going to erase it so we can solve it, okay? I need the room, so I'm going to erase it. I don't want to do everything here. So here's the solution. First of all, let's Let's christen them. That is a good word. It's spelled as in Christ. First you write Christ and then you end, uh, then you put an E in at the top at the end. And the uh, word Christ becomes christen. It's pronounced christen. Which uh, literally means to baptize somebody. Metaphorically, when you christen something or somebody, it means to name it. So instead of talking about five people and he or she, let's give them name. Let's christen them like I just did. Let's christen them. Let's call them, let's call them, them, A, B, C, D, and E, like I just did. Let's pretend, that it is A, who refuses, to sit at the either end of the bench. Just pretend that it is A, the stubborn person is A. I'm going to say the word, what the hell, if I, if I mispronounce this big deal. The word, as far as I know, is pronounced intransigent. Uh, I, as I said, I'm not sure about pronunciation. Intransigence, something like that. I'll look, I'll look it up, I'll find the spelling, proper spelling, and we'll learn it together, you and I together, in our vocabulary videos. It's simply an intransigent person. It's a person who is stubborn, a person who does not want to cooperate. And I promise you, we'll cover this word in our videos soon. For those of you who have been watching my vocabulary videos, you know that I'm up to day number 50. Here it's only 27, but I have vocabulary videos posted up to day number 50. So perhaps on day 51 we'll learn this word, intransigent, I believe.
Let's deal with this stubborn person first. Let's call him A. Okay? Let's, let's, let's pretend it is the A who does not want to sit at the end. So then, if that's the case, if this person A refuses to sit at either this end or that end, then the question is, how many different ways can I fill up the first spot? Well, the first spot can be filled up only four different ways, because in the first spot, I can either put B, C, D, or E. So there are four ways I can fill up the first spot. This end of the bench, rather. Let's not, let's not call it first spot. This end of the bench. Let's take care of the other end of the bench. How, how many different ways can I fill up the other end of the bench? The answer is three. Why three? Because whichever four of these people that, that went here, let's, let's, pretend that I put, let's pretend I put C in this spot. Whichever person that we put here, we had four choices, four possible poss possibility of filling this spot. Let's, put, let's pretend that we put person number C here. If person C goes there, then for the last spot, we have B, D, and E. Only three possible choices, because A does not want to sit at the end. So now we have taken care of the end spot, the two ends. How many different ways can we fill up this spot? Let, let's pretend that we put, let's, let's pretend we put a B in this spot. So now we have three people still left over. We still have to take care of, we still have to take care of A, and we still have to take care of D, and we still have to take care of E. These are the three people left at this point in the story. So we have three choices here. Either A would go here, or D would go here, or E would go here. Let's pretend that we put E in here, out of the three. So how many people are left still? Only two people, A and D. How many different ways can I fill up this spot? Two ways, as you can clearly see, I can either put A or D. Let's pretend that we put a D here. How many different ways can I fill up this spot? That is a mood question. Where should I put it? Mood was the word. That is a mood point. How many people, how many different ways can I fill up this spot? is a mood point. Let's learn this word together, shall we? Mood. M-O-O-T. Day number seven. Just type in Kishwani prep dash vocab dash day seven and you will learn this word mood. A mood point, a mood question is a question that uh, there is no point talking about it. Uh, they, it's, it's purely for theoretical purposes. It serves no practical purpose to ask that question. The question is purely theoretical. Why is it purely theoretical? Because we already know what's going to happen. There is only one person left. Only one person is left who has to go here. So my, so, so my question here, how many different ways can we fill up that spot, was purely for theoretical exercise. In practicality, it has no significance. Something that is a question that is asked purely for theoretical reason and it has no practical implication is called a mood question or a mood point. Only one person is going to go here, namely D. There you go. So now we have our five people. The way we arrange it, we will have C over here, we'll have E over here, we'll have A over here, we'll have D over here, and we'll have B over there. Voila. But of course, instead of putting C on the first part, we could have put B, D, or E. That's why we have four choices here. In the other corner, after we put one of these four people over here, in the other corners, we have choices among the remaining three. Because this guy doesn't want to go at the end. So here's the answer. How many different ways can we fill up these five spots? The answer is, the answer is, four times three, four times three, times two, times one, times three. 4 times 3 is 12, 12 times 2 is 24, 24 times 3 is 36. No, 24 times 3 is not 36. 24 times 3 is twice 36, 72. I got confused between 24 times 3 and 12 times 3. That's it, that's your answer, 72. There are 72 ways these five, keep, five, these five people can be seated on a bench assuming that one of those five people, doesn't have to be A, any one of those five people uh, refuses to cooperate and refuses to sit at either end of the bench. Even in that situation there are still 72 possibilities. 
had that person not been so intransigent, so so stubborn, so 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 uncooperative, and if we had a liberty to sit them anywhere we want, all five of those people, then the answer would have been simple. In that scenario, with no conditions whatsoever, the answer would have been there are five ways to fill the five first spot, there are four ways to fill the second spot, there are three ways to fill fill the third spot, there are two ways to fill the second to the last spot, and finally the last person remaining goes in the last spot. Twenty times three is sixty, times two is one hundred and twenty. So instead of 120 ways, we're down to 72 ways because of the fact that one person says, I am not going to sit at the end. That's all. That's it. We're done. I hope you found it useful. I hope you found it interesting. You got something out of it. You learned something out of it. If you wish to get hold of me for personal private tutoring, I tutor obviously for mathematics, algebra, geometry, statistics, what have you. And I also tutor for SAT, GRE, GMAT, and TOEFL, the entire exam. I do tutoring over the internet via Skype and of course in person, face to face, if you happen to be in my area, or of course over the telephone also, I have done it. If you wish to get hold of me, go to any of these website addresses and send me an email, prep for gre.com, prep for gmail.com, prep for sd.com, or prep for tofu.com. Or you can simply go to keshwani prep, prep.com and you can get hold of me from there as well. All right? Thank you.